In this physics year at Lindau, for the first time, nature paired two laureates together for each of our five films to discuss questions vital to science and the future. Could the younger scientists reconcile these Nobel Prize winners' sometimes fierce disagreements? It's a golden age of observational astronomy, yes. and it's a golden age of uh, computer astronomy. I never imagined in my wildest dreams 30 years ago we'd be able to simulate the formation of the first galaxies with uh, moving particles of dark matter. We're able for the first time to look back to when the first stars, galaxies, black holes form. So, okay, there are some big questions. We still don't know what dark matter is. How should we go about answering these questions? We've got all these people are doing studying, looking at stars, galaxies, looking at all this incremental stuff. Should we refocus astronomy? Should we cull the people that aren't doing good astronomy? Oh, no. What, what no. or how I mean, they capture? How, who is to say? Who's, right, who's exactly. Doing... But then no. I think yeah. the process. This is why I disagree that it's a golden age. John Mather was correct when he said it was a golden age for observational astronomy. Mm -hmm. I disagree with that. Like 20 years ago, really? they were saying exactly the same thing. It's a very rich subject still, and so it is still a golden age, although I would say maybe not quite as golden, because golden age is not the absolute level, it's the rate of change. And so I think we're in the exponential growth that's going to slow down a little bit, but it's still a great area mm -hmm. uh, to be in. It's not going to crash, I think, tomorrow. So let me float a question now. How long before the fossil energy runs out? 100 what? years. You say 100 years? Yeah. So go to a time beyond that, what happened? We will be forced to come up with another solution. And we, we always have, as an industry. We... You mean magic will happen? No, I think research will happen. Research and research does. has happened. Let me remind you that research does not make energy. Energy is conserved. Research only makes papers. Right now it would have to be nuclear, so it depends how soon, like nuclear and some of the, the renewables, I mean, we do have... What happens when the nuclear runs out? Well, that, that buys us more time and then we're... Yeah, 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 solar and biofuels. Solar energy, of course it's more expensive, but not so much more expensive that civilization has to come to an end or to fight and so on. The economists, the external, many others, they are talking about the cost of replacing that being 1 or 2 percent of global GDP. It's definitely possible. This is nonsense. The consensus among people who make energy, who, who make our lives, is that solar energy is nonsense. That's why they don't invest in it. This is wrong. So dark matter, is a, that's a subject that's near and dear to my heart as well. I'm a dark matter experimentalist. What do you think it could be? What? Dark matter. I think it doesn't exist. Huh? Why? Can you, Why? Can you yeah. agree? Yeah. Well, I mean, you ask my opinion, since there is no facts on this matter. <laughs> you can have any opinion you want. So, are and you... I, uh, I consider that one of those things that these astrophysicists introduce in an easy manner every Saturday afternoon. <clears throat> Do I have to believe to this church of dark matter? <laughs> I, don't, I don't like that. Yeah, it's I, have to interrupt that. No. I have to interrupt. He's the extreme skeptic, so I have to be the true believer, even though usually I'm the skeptic. I think there is some constraints and some evidence about the dark matter. But I think if you look at the, the experimental evidence, it's clear that there is extra gravitational pull and galaxies and clusters. Of I understand in science you have to have both the things you're trying and testing and not hold on them too, too dear and realize there could be alternatives. But he is sort of like, there's no evidence for anything, you know. Why do we need anything new? George Moose thinks that if he comes with an explanation of something, that it is true. I don't. I want to see proof of it elsewhere. Do you feel that it's a problem that something like here at, at Lindau, every Nobel attendee is male? I think it's very tough for women. It, it certainly is. Partly if they want to have children. It means that, they, in general, there's a break. But if you make it to the point where you're starting a family, if you are still in the field, if you have still gotten to that point in your career path, you've had to jump several other hurdles on the way there. Yeah. That is cer that's one of the, the ends. <laughs> like, that's one of the, like, you're barely making it, you just like struggle and fall over the finish line kind of hurdles to get over. There are so many others from, well, from yeah. middle school to high school to undergrad to graduate school. I mean, I'm not thinking about a family, you know? Yeah, yeah. and much, yeah. Much, of the, much of the women in my graduate program were not thinking about Yeah, yeah, I mean, there are many reasons why they drop out. I mean, I'd like to chip in a little bit. It's, it's, it's an issue I've been very long concerned with. First of all, I have two daughters. 
My wife is a PhD in organic chemistry. The demography of Nobel laureates is, of course, very atypical of the world as a whole. I will not be surprised that in not so far distant future, people will be asking, where are the white men? They aren't in the lineup of Nobel laureates this year at all. Inflation essentially is for the layperson what the Big Bang is. When the layperson thinks of the Big Bang, actually what they're thinking about is this moment of incredibly fast expansion of the universe. It's expanded unbelievably fast. Inflation is not a phase transition. Inflation is not. It absolutely is. C can I maybe ask, try yeah. to answer what you say? Because it's I an mean, enormous amount of heat coming out of the background. It's a phase. It's, it's not it's, it's, an explosion. David, you're, you're completely right, it's not an explosion because it's not hydrodynamical, but there is energy pushing the thing outward, coming from the equation state of the matter, of, of the vacuum. And, Bob, uh, this is very different. In general relativity, you can sit on the top of the hill and you're pushing the universe outward. Nothing, it's a totally in a sense, stationary, there's now, a David, killing... you know perfectly well this is a card trick. What it's actually doing is blowing up. To find out how these fascinating encounters played out, watch the full films. Let the record show that I do not believe this man until I look it up. Make a little bet 